Hello everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps. My name is Katie Carson. I am the soap maker here on this channel, otherwise known as Duchess of Suds, as so named by my people, the Royal Court. Listen, today is gonna be so much fun. So basically, here's how this design got started. I saw on the Meringue Girls Instagram, this photo right here. And I was like, hold up, they done made Brussels sprouts that are meringues. It, it, it blew my mind. I was like, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. And anything that can be done with meringues can basically be done with cold process soap. So I was like, thank you gals for this wonderful idea. I will be doing this with soap now. So I did a weird layering technique on the inside that I wanted to try. I used Russian piping tips to create the Brussels sprouts on top. And basically this is one of my favorite soaps I've probably made in like the last six months. So without further ado, let us make some Brussels sprout soap. Who's with you to me? <laughs> Y'all wanna know how we begin? I'll tell you. You pour your lye water solution into your oils. So I got a couple colors I gotta pour off. These are gonna be my accent greens. Now I have four greens I'm gonna be adding. All of them have been darkened with black oxide. I'm going to begin by blending this in by hand. I want these to stay pretty runny. Oh yes, I'm glad I added the black oxide. And if you want to know, I added in about 2.5 grams of each color and then added a fourth of a gram of black oxide. It is the teeny tiny tiniest bit. The fragrance oil I'm adding today is green tea. Oh, I love green tea. Do you like green tea, Katie? Oh yeah, I love green tea. I like matcha tea too. Do you like peppermint tea better? Oh, probably just because I feel like peppermint tea wakes me up. Mm. Peppermint tea. I'm gonna wait to blend these up because I want them to stay really fluid. And this green tea fragrance oil really slows down trace, which is good because I want it to stay nice and runny. So what we're gonna do here is pour this green on the back portion of this soap cup, like so. So I'm going to start by pouring this down the wall. Okay, and this is why I need to use the other one next time. Oh no! Wow! 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 This is not good. <laughs> I'm just gonna try to be careful because this is not turning out right. If I pour from a little higher, it makes it a little easier, but it's not gonna give the detail that I want. Oh well, the other layers are gonna have to be detailed enough for both of them. Let this be a lesson to you. I do not do everything right the first time, the second time, sometimes even the third time. Looks like a watermelon. <laughs> Good. I have moved along to the next color and I have to do this for all of the colors multiple times back and forth. And when I start running out, like I did the, just there, I gotta add some more. I like these. Let's go ahead and speed this part along, shall we? I know y'all are just here to see me pipe those Brussels sprouts. So you can see here, I have my piping bag all loaded up with white frosting and green mica on the sides. This is gonna make it look a little Brussels sprouty. And then I have a Russian piping tip here on the end. I looked at the picture from the Meringue Girls and decided that I think this is the closest one to what they did. And theirs looked pretty Brussels sprouty, so I didn't wanna change it. So I kind of 
have to experiment a little bit because every time I do this, I end up finding a better way, like right at the very end. It could be that I end up scraping some of this off. I'm not gonna lie. That is a real possibility. Now I'd love to be able to give y'all some tips for using these tips, but don't get me to lying. <laughs> it is kind of a new thing every time. One time I think, oh, I've mastered it, and then I do it the next time, and it's like, you have not <laughs> mastered it. I think my biggest tip would be just have some room that you can practice before you start piping on top of your soap. I've totally done that off to the side here. You just can't see it. And when it starts smearing together on the side, wipe off the bottom. Yeah, these look a lot more like like Brussels sprouts over here than these do down there. I'm gonna scrape those off. Why do they call it a Russian piping tip? I don't know. I'm gonna Google it. That's gonna be a no from me. <laughs> this one right here has to go. As to these sad saps. Bye bye. <laughs> so the origin of the name Russian piping tips is actually unknown. Really? It's rumored that they were invented in Moscow and represented different Russian flowers. Well, that makes total sense. But that's only a rumor, and there are other places that state that AliExpress was the first one to ever name them that. Really? Which would make sense because they mistranslate lots of things and they make up lots of things. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pipe these final Brussels sprouts and then I'm going to mix a little bit of fragrance oil into my frosting, which I hardly ever do. And we're gonna pipe some of these individually so you just have some little baby sprouts. See, now why is this happening? I have all these beautiful ones than this. <laughs> Definitely the longer you can wait to pipe with Russian piping tips, the better. Because the thicker it is, the more defined these little lines are. But you can't wait too long because it's soap. It's not buttercream frosting. I'm debating whether or not I should scrape these nine off. I wouldn't scrape anything in the middle. It's too risky. But these look so good. All of these look so good. And then there's just these three bars that look like trash. Let's do it. We'll live life on the edge. Uh, travesty. Travesty. Here's the good thing. All of that, you, you won't be able to tell because no. it's all white and the thing I'm about to pipe on there will also be white, so it won't be a big deal. It just looks really bad right now. Let's try that again, shall we? There we go. Much better. I am glad I did that. <laughs> okay, so the Brussels sprout loaves are done. But like I said, I'm gonna mix some fragrance oil into the rest of my piping batter and I'm gonna pipe it on the table. I ended up adding some fragrance and here's what I did to my extra. I'm gonna put together little sets of these. They're so cute. And then over here we have the loaves. I'm gonna be really interested to see how all of those different greens turned out on the inside and I'm loving the top. The Brussels sprout vibe is a real, real thing. I want to do this like a thousand more times. And at the same time, I really don't want to deal with inconsistent piping, so who knows? I might end up using these Russian piping tips on a slab in the future so that we can just fill it all in, add some leaves, chop up those bars. I think that'd be fun. So we're gonna let these sit for 18 to 24 hours, probably closer to 24 for these just because there's only one row of frosting and then we'll come back and we will cut into them, take a peep at the inside, and peel those others off the table. Y'all, I hate to cut it, but it has to happen. These look like both Brussels sprouts and cauliflower. I have lined it up with my multi-bar cutter Evangeline. I got her from Nurture Soap Supplies. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> so I love the veininess of this particular technique. I love those thin wispy bits of green. And I'm really happy with these two green colors, but I wish I could get a true dark green that isn't blue toned. Y'all see what I mean? It looks blue. I want a true 
dark green. I will leave you guys a picture right now of the type of green I want. And if you know how to achieve this with oxides or micas or whatever, let me know down in the comments below because I don't have a clue. I have tried so many different things. But are we really complaining? No, we aren't. Because first of all, that looks super cool on the inside, but the top. Come on, it's so cute. Now, once again, this is gonna be an extremely limited soap. All what you saw me make today, that's all that's being made. So, if you want this bar, you've got to be at the website on time. 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, royaltysoaps.com on March 7th. That's when these little cuties are gonna be available. Who is here for a whole slab of Russian piping tips. We should totally do that. If you think I should pipe a whole slab with these suckers, let me know. That will be our question of the day today. Should Katie make a whole slab of little piped soap flowers? I love me a good challenge and it would certainly be one. And to vote on that question of the day, just click the upper right hand corner of the screen. Y'all, I'm obsessed. I can't even, I'm dead. This is one of my favorite things I've done in a long time. Time. and it smells really good to boot, which is always a bonus. I mean, we love ourselves a cute top, we love a cute design, but if it doesn't smell good, sis, we don't want it. I'm gonna be tagging the meringue girls in this image on my Instagram because I want them so badly to see it. Let them know that I have made a soap inspired by their Brussels sprouts meringue. That would be like the collab of the century. I feel like a lot of people, here we go, here we go talking. I feel like a lot of people feel like they can only do collabs within their own industry like only two soap makers can collab or only two polymer clay artists that is not the way it is I feel like you can collab with any artist anybody in any genre because if you're creative and they're creative you can fuel each other's creativity on <laughs> I'm so awkward, I don't even know how to talk. I'm sorry. So heck yes, I would do a Meringue Girls collab if they ever reached out. They could make cute meringues, I could make cute soap things. It would be adorable. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you wanna see more like it, please give this video a thumbs up. That is essentially our voting system. We do pay attention to those of y'all who are giving thumbs up. We pay attention to those statistics. Videos that get more likes, we tend to make more videos like that because you guys enjoy it and we care about what y'all enjoy. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, whether that is cooking up your favorite vegetable like a Brussels sprout. That is not my personal favorite vegetable. I like a tomato. It's still a vegetable. I know it's a fruit, but it's a vegetable. Go ahead and fight me. Or stepping outside of your comfort zone, trying something new like me today. Russian piping tips. Hello. It was kind of fun. Either way, do something that makes you happy. And I truly mean that. Sometimes I have to come back at these outros and say, I mean it. When I say it, you're hearing me Go do something for yourself. It doesn't have to cost money. It doesn't have to take up a lot of time or energy. Just a little something. Just a little something to make you feel warm and fuzzy inside. Go on, go on, go do it. And I'll see you guys soon for the next video. So until then, bye for now. Glub, glub, thanks for the grub. Relevant, I think.